Hey guys, welcome back to Okami Part 61. In the last episode, we ended up running through the Forest of Illusion to end up here in Pungtan. Shrink to the size of Ishun's size to go and visit Ishun's village! Yay! Let's break the shit out of it! Ooh. Oh, wait. Like a ball. Whee! First thing, yeah. Hoo hoo, first. Yeah, get some of them beads. Some sexual beads. Mm hmm. Yugi boy. Has anyone ever seen DBZ? I mean, uh, no, DBZ a bridge. I was gonna say Yu Gi Oh bridge. I, I'm just being silly. Yeah. Ah, uh, la la la. This item. Okay. I'm going. Ah! Well, trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Uh, 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 nope. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah. Ah, fell to my death again. Yeah, let's humiliate myself by doing something again, and again, and again, and again, and a shut the fuck up. Yeah. No! Whee! Gotcha. Awesome. We're doing awesome. Awesome, awesome, and the only reason why I'm not talking to anyone so I can go explore. Eh, eh, that's water. It's a trap. Eh, what? I want to let me climb on the leaves. Eh. Oh, cool. I can't believe you know the punctons are this advanced. Well, I mean, not advanced by like technology-wise, because look at it. it seems so stable. Seems so cool. I like it. I will name it Samantha. And Samantha will be a good girl. Wait. Okay, that made no sense at all. La 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 la. Nope. Now you guys see what I'm doing, right? Because all these flowers have. Uh, those flowers all connect to different parts. Hey, you're a wolf. How'd you manage to get this into this village? Hmm. It must be a fun playing about outside. I wish I could, but I have to practice painting the whole time. All of us here are given lessons by the villagers, village elder, <coughs> Ishako. Ishaku. Ishaku. He can be really strict sometimes. I got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like Isun, then I'd be able to get, be able to help the god. God, God, why am I sounding so horrible today? Cool. Ah, mine. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I break. I can't break it. Sucks. Oh well. Yay! Infinite e stones. I only cheat with those. I do not cheat with anything else. Well, I mean, it's not cheating. It's more like... Okay, it counts as cheating in a way for me. I just don't feel like it's... fair, in a way. In a sense. I feel like just I need to finish the game through more of my... with my own, like, character itself than using items with the character. Except for healing. That's not the... There's no exception for that. I mean, no, actually, no, it is an exception. No, no, it's not. Okay, now I'm making up excuses. Come on! Yeah, no! But yeah, looks like Punk Town is a pretty cool place. Um, and. No! No! Okay, and you can possibly fall to your death. Okay! Even though there's water at the bottom, but, the, but there's no possible way of getting up. 
and we're inside a giant, and we're inside of a sump. Making sense. Sump equals water inside of it. No, it doesn't. I don't, well, I can kind of imagine what they were thinking with the whole sump, sump having water thing, but I'm just trying to calculate it in my head, and it's like, I did not know that inside of a sump, there would be a possible chance for, well, why is there flowers literally leading to your death? Sucks. Hmm. I'm gonna test it. Yoin! Yeah. Uh, there we go, it reacted. Yeah. Yeah. No! Come on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. There it is. Whee! 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 Sorry. Had <laughs> to be stupid. Okay. Question. Oh, okay. That's always my question. I was about to say, how in the hell am I gonna get back? Uh, stupid. Mm. Eh. That's the win. Okay, are you kidding me? What's up with this? Eh. Now it finally does it. Anyways, let's continue looking around. I don't know what that says, but it might be relating to that whole painting thing. Okay, there's the kid that we talked to. There should be more items around, but I don't want to keep looking. Because, meh, meh, I don't know exactly how to say it. I mean, oh, whatever. You know what, Brr, I'm trying to at least say something. Oh, <clears throat> wow, we don't usually see animals here. The trees in the forest give off a strange pollen. Most animals and monsters stay away because they don't like it. We're lucky because we kept our village safe over the years. There have been more monsters on the prowl lately, though. They're starting to come, <clears throat> come deeper and deeper into the forest. You're a bit small for a wolf, and some strange markings. But you don't seem to be a bad wolf, which is all the count. Okay, so you're telling me the pollen... The the ponicles, okay, these ponicles or whatever they're called, have the ability to see Atamarasu's true form. That seems pretty cool. <laughs> Holy giant clover! Give me some of them prayers. Amen. What? Yeah. Yeah. Ew, that was nasty. Bah. Eh, nothing else. Okay, now we're gonna go inside houses. But first, feel this. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Still trying to figure out how the punk. Is that a dead centipede? And they use the corpse to make it connect. Like. What? I thought it did. Oh. oh, no, it's not. Oh. For a second there. Oh, it. It. Is a dead centipede. Wow. This place is slightly psychotic. Using corpses of creatures. Oh, I got. Gimme. I said Jeremy! Nah, screw it. Why am I going high up? Uh, nah. You know what? No. I need a fall. Falling! Oh, God. Okay. Haha! Screw you, logic! Ooh, cool. Money! Alright, I will go up there last. Let's go into the other houses. Hmm. Or 
No, we didn't talk to this person, did we? But that person. Oh, found where the village. Hold it right there! Are you some kind of wolf? I'm sorry, I mean stupid with a voice. You can't be an ordinary wolf if you got a dip on a gun like this! <laughs> sorry, it's funny. We demand you that you introduce yourself. Um, it's kind of hard whenever someone else can't speak. That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on inside this wolf's head. But this strange makeup on it and the divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them somewhere before, too. Eh? Eh? So, the Panakutan know about... Okay. They might know about Shiranui. But I'm not sure. Because they know the markings of around Atamarasu as well as the divine instrument? Huh. Weird. Hey! Let's go talk to this guy. What an unusual customer. Say, you're a god, aren't you? We hardly see <clears throat> any here these days. Listen up, God Wolf. I collect things and find <clears throat> I find in the forest. It's sort of a hobby. Do you want to play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. Um. Okay. What? Eighth wonder. Yeah. I want it already. What the? Gleave the uh, eight armed beast. Uh, la 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 la. Is it? Better than the... Oh, yeah, it is. Well, by one... By an eight. So, meh. I want it. I'm a spoiled child. I want it! I want it! Timmy, you're not gonna get... Sh if you keep talking like that, you little bastard. But, no! <laughs> what in the hell am I saying? I don't know. Slightly don't care. Guys, I want... I want that blade. Give me that damn blade. Sure. Do I have enough now? No! Not fair. Dang it! I'm off by... Just... I need something else to sell. Sorry, fish. You will be replaced. I fear that if I do this, I might not ever get another one. But that cutlass fish it looks like a good price on its head. Meh. Let's just get things that are like already have this. This. Yeah. I promised myself I wasn't gonna do this, but meh. The crawfish, the killifish, and the goby are all common fishes that you can fish. Fishes that you can fish. <laughs> sense makes sense? Damn it, I still don't have enough. You know what? I'm gonna come back for that sword, I swear. I swear on Atamarasu herself. Okay, yeah, that's true, Atamarasu. I shouldn't do that. Because, anyways, you'd bite me if I didn't keep my promise. Because it's true, you bit me before, damn it! <laughs> Let me through! Yeah, like a boss. Whoa! Whoa! Now, this is just a pretty butterfly one. Uh, Pong Tong. Huh? You're a bit small for a wolf, aren't you? And it looks like you're wearing some kind of strange makeup. You're the first visitor in this village who is in a Pong, uh, Pong Tong. Ponicle. My name is Mia. Pleased to meet you. Ponicle. Girl, Mia. Okay, see, that little cutoff there was stupid. Man. You know, there was a lost child in this forest the other day. She was... <clears throat> she wandered even deeper into the forest and disappeared through the spirit gate. Spirit, wait, what? 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 No! 
Oh, uh, crap. I don't even know why I was screaming. No! Uh, because now we gotta go through the spirit gate to go save her. It looked almost possessed. Son of a biscuit. The spirit gate is a relic that lies deeper inside the forest. It's a strange gate that takes you to another place and another time. Time roulette, go. Anyways, another space and time. But people say that opening the gate invites misfortune. We Ponicles always make sure we steer <clears throat> well clear of it. But whenever I saw a girl wander, wandering deep, deeper into the forest, I decided to follow because I was worried about her. I saw the gate open up in a moment she stood before it, and then it was like she'd been swallowed up. Do you think I should tell the elder about this, Wolfie? Um, yeah, you should. Would you like me to tell you about the spirit gate again? Nah, I'm good. Hmm. I hope the girl who was swallowed up by the spirit gate is okay. Do you think I should tell... Yes, you should tell the elder! If an innocent little girl gets swallowed up by a gate, I think I would tell someone. Not just, oh, maybe I shouldn't, or, oh, I feel bad, or, don't feel bad, don't do anything. If someone's in trouble, you tell. Gee. If someone's doing bad, you tell. Because wrong is not right, right is left, and, and up is down. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Beh, beh. Because seriously... Don't, don't let someone suffer like that, guys. Seriously, if you're the people that really care, care like I do, you're willing to at least tell, even if it's a chance of you getting in trouble yourself. <sighs> even though I feel bad because I, I feel like I'm a hypocrite. Okay, the reason why is a long story. Mm, horsey must die. Bear. Ah, screw it. Hey. That's amazing, a wolf the same size as us. Hmm, it's all a bit suspicious if you ask me. How did you manage to find your way deep into Yoshi's pit? Even Onion Tribe can't hold out on this forest for long. Any other creatures die out <coughs> in, in an instant. Long ago, there was an Onion girl who got lost there, though. She was on the brink of death, poor thing. One of our tribe, like, one of our tribe, Isun, found her out here. I mean, there. He helped her find her way back to the edge of the forest. Hmm, it's funny. Remembering her after all this time, I suppose she must be a <clears throat> all grown up by now. Aw, she's talking about, uh, Kai. That's cute. Isun, you're such a sweetheart. But it must have related to some serious drama with your village elder yelling at you, saying, Hey! You shouldn't be helping them. It's their fault. Yeah. Hey. Dig, 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 dig. Yeah, like a boss. Gimme. Okay, wind. I didn't want you. That's what I wanted. Heck yeah. Oh, um, anyways. Let's us. Hmm. Do we want some more stomach? What am I talking about? Yes. The more stomachs we have, the more chances of us not completely getting the game over in the game. Oh. And also, cheating. Golden Peach. Now we have three stomachs. We're like a cow now. Yeah. Ah! No. Whoa. Give me some information. Hold it right there. Blah, blah, blah. You just look like... Look like the wolf in the scroll and the old... Oh, oh, oh okay, here we go. You look <clears throat> just like the old wolf in the scroll in the old <clears throat> Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief, Ishaku? Oh, whoa. So, I thought so. Well, I suppose we'd better let you in. This is the home of Ishaku, chief of the Pentacles. He's resting inside the moment. Please go in. He's old and very become qu become quite weak. His eyes are particularly bad, so keep him that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. <laughs> this is Atamarasu we're talking about. Atamarasu. 
She's gonna cause plenty of hell of a trouble. Hmm? Hmm. I recognize that smell. Who's there? No. It can't be. But I'd known that bark anywhere. It must be... A Amy? Wait, 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 that... Wait, wait, time out? He knows about Amy? Amy! If it... <clears throat> if it's you! When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but... But I can sense it. I can sense the tears in your trying... <laughs> you're trying to hide it. Um... I don't see any tears. Yes. Go ahead and ignore me. That's the Amy I know. I don't know how you managed to make yourself a... S <clears throat> yourself so small. But that rudeness of yours leaves me in <laughs> no doubt of who you are. <laughs> awesome! Wait. Quick question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the old wolf before was called Shiranui, not Amy. Huh, that's weird. Everyone called Atomrasu Amy before. I guess, you know, since she came back to life... Ooh! Wait. Nope. Come on. Aw, oh, won't, the camera won't focus on that little drawing up there. That that w might be the final form of Amy. I'm no longer... The young boy you remembered me as, Amy. I've grown to become a leader of the Pantan. Yes, I am the legendary swordsman, Ishaku. Cool! He's a swordsman too, like Ishun. Legendary swords legendary swordsman, Ishaku. Self -pro proclaimed. Uh, self centered, that's what I'm hearing. I've gotten up in the world since the last like since we last met. Would you wouldn't you say? Question quiet, quiet, quiet. You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have weakened considerably. I assume that you haven't re retrieved all of the 13, uh, 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we've last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to. So, I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength. But let me tell you straight, Amy. In your certain state, you can't possibly fight off the powers of darkness. Wait. How does he know about it? Oh, okay. And Amy's not even giving a... I, I don't know. So tell me. Don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Is that a no? You mean you came all the way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with... <clears throat> Uh, with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh, well, never mind. It's no big deal. Amy, I'm sure you already know this, but... In your current state, you can't defeat the ruler of darkness, Yami. I had to just say it. We Ponicles always knew that the darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. Wait, envoys? Huh, like Ishun's trying to do. But he ran off so that he could do it himself. Okay. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Uh, because Atamarasu was a stone before. Before, you know, coming back. But I have a feeling like that stone thing. And the real Atamarasu. Or, I don't know, Shiranui or something like that. You seem to have forgotten absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live unless people believe in them. We Punicles are the only ones who can communicate with the gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. And only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of becoming named the Celestial Envoy. I was the sixth Celestial Envoy whenever I traveled with you. But I'm old now, and I'm not strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've become very strict, but it's paid off. Now, <clears throat> almost all of them ha have what it takes to be a, a celestial envoy. So, Amy, take a look around at the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the, se the seventh celestial envoy.
Yeah, sorry, I got a burp. Sorry. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Mm. Oh. Then, and only then, will you be able to defeat the dark. What is it? Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Ignoring me again, are you? It doesn't matter. I can tell what you're thinking anyways. You're thinking about the spear gate, aren't you? Only a fool would be interested in something like that. Um, Atamarasu is very stupid. Well, I mean, not stupid. Curious. And kind. And caring without even saying anything. The lonesome gate invites misfortune, misfortune I tell you. If, it o <clears throat> if you open it, you'll be engulfed in a veil of sinister air. There's no reason in the world you'd ever need to open it. Anyways, I can't be can't be opened without my trusty sword, then Jimaru. Never mind that. How's your search with the celestial envoys going? I must be hard to choose with all the talent here. Um I already have one named Ishun. What? Is there something you want to tell me? Just for the record just for the record, I don't have a grandson anymore. That no good rascal gave up on his training and ran away with one of my treasured paintings. He's no longer a grandson of mine. I've washed my hands of him. Aw, don't say that about Ishun. Ishun's the boss. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. Chaos control it. Ishun's the... Okay. So there's passing on the heritage of everyone. In the beginning, it was Nagi, thanks to Sasano, that completed another fat jerk. Then came Atamarasu, I mean, then came A Atamarasu's Spanakle, or Celestial Envoy, Ish I mean, uh, uh, sh <coughs> Shikaku. Since Sasano is, a, like, is the grandson of Nagi, and Ishun is the grandson of Shitaku, who also fought against the darkness past years, but fought against, well, fought the last battle with, <coughs> sorry, I got it, I, <coughs> sorry, choking, anyways, and ended up fighting the last battle against, uh, Orochi, ended up losing, even though she was a god, that makes kind of no sense, mm. oh well, you're thinking about the special, uh, la 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 la, something, sinister air, anyways, can't be open without my trusty so oh, gee, no matter who you understand I want. If you're gonna do that, ah, mine! Still disrespect your elders. Damn it! Damn it! Eh. I can't do anything about getting his sword out. This is a pain. Well, at least the old man's telling me something that might be helpful. Eh. It's kind of giving me an idea of what to do. And what do you think I'm going to do, guys? Hmm. I'm going to go up here. Why? I don't know. But, geez, everyone's been insulting Atamarasu just because she's gotten weak. He's like, you're weak. I'm like, shut up. We. Yeah, like a ball. Hey, look, there's more stuff around. Blech. Wow. What's all this stuff? Hey, nut. Bleh. Bleh. Wait. Okay, time out. How did a nut get an apple? But okay. Bleh. Bleh. Yeah, like a ball. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, we can go out this in the distance. Uh, uh, Matrix. Uh, oh, yeah. Wee. Oh, what's in here? Hmm, I'm curious. Curious person. Cu yes. Who's this guy? Hmm. Look at your white fur. And those strange red marks. If I'm not mistaken, you're Atamarasu. Uh, 
Wait, wait, time out. I, I, okay. No, there's no mistaking it. Ishaku said you left the land of the living long ago. But here you are. Whatever have you been doing all this time? Um, she's been dead. She's been a god. And she's kind of been in a, like, she ended up turning, I mean, getting a rock statue of herself. And then whenever that rock statue was forced to come alive, she became Atamarasu once again. I suppose there's no point in questioning you, dear. Now then, I think I can <clears throat> hazard a guess why you're here. No doubt you want me to make you a seal like I did a hundred... Wait, 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 time out. Make a seal like I did a hundred years ago? My seal crafting is unrivaled. I suppose you remember that, eh? Seal crafting. Seal craftsman. Like craftsman. Miss Seal. Eh, Poke. I don't know why. It, just, it reminded me of Pokemon. You know, that little uh, derpy Pokemon that had its tail up. Seal, seal, dee, dee. I, I don't know. It was cute. But useless. Slightly. Yeah. Well, I would gladly make you one, of course, but I can't give you a, a big discount just because you're a god. The best price off I offer is. Eh, not that bad. Do I even have an- oh, yeah, I do! Wait, wait, two, four... Oh, yeah, I do! Cool. That's the spirit! Very well, then, I'll make you the finest seal around. For free, natu- wait, what?! Why do you look so surprised? You should know I wouldn't dream of taking your money. I shouldn't have stressed you like that, but... This is the most important work I've done a hundred years. I'm going to do my very best. I mean, best job. Blah, 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 blah. Now, the first thing we need to do is decide on a design. You see that board on the wall there? Use your brush and paint the seal design you like. And it can be anything. Your name, a pattern you like, anything. <clears throat> Summon the artistic fire from deep within and paint it on my board. Okay, I can do this. Yeah. That sucked. Wow. Wait, no, we can keep doing this. Okay. What in the hell am I making? I don't care. Yeah. Oh cool. It it looks like a cherry a little bit. Yeah, like a boss. <laughs> it's gonna look so stupid. See, this would have been helpful if it was like something easier. Eh. But yes, I call it the cherry of awesomeness. Horrible look, but I don't care. Hmm? So this is your artistic fire. I suppose there's some kind of indescribable heat to it. No, are you sure this is it? Eh, yeah, it's perfect. Wonderful! This is the one. This design is the expression of your inner self. It looks like Scribble to me. And I scribbled it because, you know, a PlayStation 2 controller does not help you get the finest details. Soul making in your... for you. Oh, there's one thing I should mention. Don't ever come here again, for I really need to concentrate. Whoa, that's really uncalled for. If you trust my skills, you don't need to look over my shoulder. Uh, do, no doubt you have your own things to get on, anyways. Blah blah blah. Your path sure crossed again when time. Comes. Trust me, I'll about. Now I'll be on your way. Don't look back. Just follow the path you believe in. Wait. So. Uh, okay. I I don't get my. Our paths are sure to cross again when the time comes. Trust me, it's all about your destiny. Now I'll be on your way. Don't look back. Just follow the path you believe in. Wait. So I don't get my. Or whatever. Yeah, <sighs> whatever. Whoa! What the? Vines? Like a boss. Seriously, magical powers for the win. Eh. Hmm. Okay. Wee. Wee! So, we now know where to go, guys. 
And where is that? Even though he called us a fool? Well, we need to go talk to Ishun first, because it's kind of bothering me that, uh, his, that his grandfather is being too damn stubborn of at least forgiving Ishun because he quit his, uh, want, like, you know, quit his uh, art training. I mean, yes, it was stupid for Ishun, but Ishun wanted to be free. And look at him, he's already trying to collect the celestial, uh, you know, the celestial drawings. So I can give him at least some praise. Anyways, guys, this video's been going on for too long. And you know what this means, guys? Let me end this by saving right here. So, we have our information set. The Ponicles are technically... <clears throat> I mean, we're one of the creatures that were a part of... Sh I mean, we're with Shiranui in the beginning of their journey. And ended up helping them out. I mean, helping her out with fighting against the darkness. Right now, Atamarasu is too weak to fight against Yami, as well as Ishun's been kicked out of the village because he ended up never finishing his training. Atamarasu has a choice of pick, like picking the like the seventh uh, celestial convoy. She didn't say anything or agreed to anything because, well, Atamarasu can only do this. Yeah, but she didn't, didn't even bark for her. I mean, bark for them. So. Right now, the only thing we have to do now is talk to Ishun, go to the gate and see if we can break it down without, you know, the old man's sword. And then figure out what we can do, like, save that poor girl, I mean, uh, Kai's little sister. Um, what was it? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Well, also, we have to head back. Go try to convince Oki to stop being an idiot and at least come back to the village. And then beat the bosses. So that we can head off to the final boss, end this let's play, and be able to start up, like, Tales of Symphonia. That's our plan, we're gonna stick to it. Anyways, before I go and add in anything else, before I go mentally crazy with this, I am getting, a, like, a new device, I mean, recording device, that will be probably helpful, I mean, better than this one I'm using currently. If you guys know about Blitzbox, like, Blitzbox, well, Pretty much a good percentage of Let's Players, commentators, n use the Blitzbox. So probably you don't need to be questioned of you know it or not. A Blitzbox is a device like this. It's just more of for recording stuff. So that's why you get a little device with it, a splitter. So guys, I'm going to be getting, I've already ordered for one Dazzle and uh, like two splitter, I mean two of a... Uh, two four packs of splitters and they were very cheap prices too so I'm very satisfied about that um so if you got I mean I will bring you guys better quality recording I promise you that I mean I will try to at least bring more proper recording um and that will pretty much lead into tales of symphonia <gasps> shin don't say it so early oh sorry sorry Amy Okay, y you forgive me. I love you. Anyways, but yeah. That will be my plan, because since... Here's the problem with the Blitzbox. It's cool to use it to record. Problem is, it only has two settings. Those two settings affect... I mean... Well, it doesn't really... Okay, like, hey, the first one is the capture device. And you guys see I'm using the capture device right now. But the problem is, if you get something with, like, a better recording system that also records your microphone separately, because you can, separate, like, record two things. The audio within the video, as well as a microphone, so if you want to add in commentary. So, I want to at least do that, like, do it for that, so that I could be done, so then I would be able to mix in the volume with the video game, Instead of what I'm doing now, where I just turn up the little TV so that you guys can hear, like, the game's music. Because I know some of you guys don't like that. And it kind of goes on and off whenever it's still on the same volume. So at least, guys, I will make sure at least get the quality better than ever. Better than ever. Yeah. So anyways, guys, look forward to the next episode. This has been Atamarasu, 
and Shin Nogawa. See you guys. Oh, wait. And also, if you guys like this video, thank you very much. I, I don't want to at least, you know, end this video without saying thank you to you guys. I really appreciate that you guys still watch it, like, watch this Let's Play. This really, really blind, slightly crappy Let's Play. <sighs> and, you know, if you like this video enough, show me that you like it, like, by clicking a like button. If you don't like it, I understand. Click the dislike. If you're interested in these or other videos that I've been, like, having up, you know, click the subscribe button. Come on, be a homie. Be my homie. Yay! But anyways, guys, this is it. See you guys later. I love you. Okay, bye, guys.